Today we are doing a fuel pump on a 1969 Ford F-250 Super Duty Ranger. It's not a Super Duty. I just like saying duty. Um, so the fuel pump is, it's off, but it's usually located right there. See, see where that exposed gasket is? Right in there. Now we got the uh, fuel line disconnected that goes up to the carburetor and we put on a Edelbrock four barrel, had a two barrel on it. This is the fuel line coming from the tank, got that plugged, that is, that is the correct way to do it. Don't do it any other way, just kidding, there's not a wrong way to do it, just plug it up so you don't have fuel leaking everywhere. Now went down to O'Reilly's, and for 36 bucks, you get yourself a nice looking fuel pump with a lifetime warranty. Here we got the TEF tape, ready Since to- Since he's gonna own this thing forever. Exactly. <laughs> so how you wanna put TEF tape on is so the tail goes the one way, now this TEF tape too wide. This is pretty thick shit, too. Damn. Oh, baby, you know me. <laughs> but you want the TEF tape to go um, the orientation of the threads so that it doesn't unravel as you're threading it on. Yeah, so it kind of, it kind of wads in there. Da, 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 da. You don't like that, the tail end. I like that, so you want to go, I think it's this way. If not. It doesn't really matter. It's yeah, you just, you just do it again. <laughs> this is really thick stuff. Usually by this time, it's shredded into little pieces. Oh, yeah, and uh, they wanted, at AutoZone, it was uh, about $5 more expensive, and they probably charge you for the lifetime warranty, so O'Reilly's was... Uh, Shop around. Damn right. Everybody's different. There's a, that one on online one. There's a bunch of online ones, but... You know, you can't walk down and throw the thing back at the guy and go, hey. <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't work. I'm in the process right now. I bought a couple things online. And neither of them are even half of what it should have been. This, this nice clean rag here. Oh, yeah. Wipe the tool down. Try not to get too dirty today. We got the dirty work done yet. Plus, I gotta handle this thing later. Yeah, I was listening to those up there. God, they had that guy wound for, oh gosh, 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> it was funny. Well, he's trying to scam money out of this old part. And so these guys from around the world get together and uh, literally phone him to death. They all phone in from one, one uh, location and they're all on the line and they just hit the right buttons and pretty soon the guy's so pissed he can't think straight and that's what it's all about <laughs> and uh, they'll set him up they've set this one guy up four or five times scam baiters are pretty funny there's like ten different kinds and uh, ten different guys that do it and they all have their, oh, there's more than 10. There's probably dozens. And they all have their own little style and uh, kind of what they're after. So scam baiters is what it sounds like. They bait scammers. They, they bait the guys that are trying to get to your grandma's money and waste their time, piss them off. I've been getting these calls for 10 or 15 years and there's nothing I can do about it. I've called the phone company, FCC. They all, they, they, they can't do anything or, or the, what I have to do is so hard to do, it's impossible to do. So it's just like ridiculousness. Yeah. Mind Dude, you, Terry, Terry doesn't have a cell phone. He's got landline. 
Oh, Don gets his Don gets these crappy ones on his cell phone too. Yeah, there you go. So I mean, not, I, I get them too. You, but at least it it warns me. It says you're getting. Yeah, well, that's beside the point. Yeah. I don't need a warning. I need to, to stop. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny. It's the same guys every day. You know, they're trying to get my social security number or God bleep, trying to get my phone number. I dropped it today. Oh, okay. So trying to get my my uh, card number. There she goes. There's, there's, oh, there's scams where they try to get your. Oh, dirty. Had to get down there on the, on the cross member. Oh. Bolt. And. Uh, I they suppose just, I could do something. There's some scams where they try to get you to go down to Target and buy the Target cards. Right. Give them the numbers over the phone. You can play those guys. You can. I get them on the phone, and if you're good, you can play them for 20, 30 minutes. You guys online, just go on YouTube and put in scam bait or scammer. Let's see if I can. And uh, wow. it's it's absolutely hilarious. There's a whole bunch of different ones. And they all have kind of like their own little style. How close that way there. Can you see it? Can you believe it? Looks like you're right on it. Oh, that might be it. But again, it might not. <laughs> All right, so uh, where are we at, Terry? Oh, we're back here in Portland. <laughs> <laughs> After going into space for a minute there, all, right. all those two bolts that hold those things on are kind of squirrely. So we got an oil sending unit down here. This goes into a cam that runs that pump. And sometimes the cam is in the pump position, which means the, the you got to spring the the lever a little bit to get it into position and that's what we had to do now this here is the oil pressure sending unit and if you try to get that other bolt out without taking this off that's a pain you'll be there for a day or four he went with a box wrench down in there yesterday and i started laughing <laughs> okay he's new to record Let's get a look at it. At least this is something you can work on. This is the oil sanding unit. And I'm just about snug here. This is a 916. Don't try to take it off by the top. You'll be buying a new unit. Okay. Now he's ready to put that hoses on. Gonna start with the uh, the hardwire one. Or right. the hard line. That's the, I, is that side or the other side? You know, I'm going to hold it where I want it up oh, here, oh. so when he tightens it, it won't be hitting any anything. I don't want it to vibrate on anything. If it vibrates on something, eventually it'll rub a little hole in it. Pee gas everywhere. You'll think you'll be getting really shitty mileage, which you do anyway, but... <laughs> All right, that's tightened. That's snug. Oh, you did... Hold on now. You told me it was tight, and I let go, and then you moved it again. Okay, now try it again. <laughs> Can't be doing that. There. Is that better? This is one, not the other. Yeah, oh. I know, but but they're both needed. All right, now they're both tight. Okay, that feels pretty good. Don't want leaks. And now we're gonna hook a fuel line <laughs> to the pump, and that's gonna get messy, so I'm getting out of here. Okay, without any real throttle here yet. We gotta still link that in finally. Oh yeah, we need the... But I think we're ready to give it the world. Let's go hit the key. Let's see if we can get this thing to light on its own. Goodness. I'll handle the gas. All right. So you got Terry <clears throat> working the carburetor. Ready? Yes. <laughs> Get my timing line. And that's what should happen. 
happen when you have a working fuel pump. But I should be able to. One. Okay. I should be able to turn and start it. Let me check this other one real quick. Okay. Before we go any further. Ouch. See what the mechanic's doing. Okay, let's, let me. Uh, I'll handle the gas. You handle the. He hit me. <laughs> Switch tanks. <laughs> You're on, let me see those gauges here. Like this, right? It's showing gas, why aren't we getting gas at the car? vacuum line you got one of your lines got a vacuum in it okay let's try it again <laughs> i know you were just adjusting the jets yeah i know but we're out of, it's it's like see right now my yeah. fingers should be soaking wet from them spraying gas up on them from right here yeah and we're not getting gas up there right now so that means we're not getting gas from the tanks for some reason. That's pissing me off now. So that means there's a like an airline sucking air somewhere or something. All right, technical difficulties with the uh, gas and tank. Got that resolved. Now we're adjusting the idle.
something new to a lot of you. This is called a timing light. We use them on the old-fashioned shit. And you plug this thing into here. Bring these two up. Red one goes to the positive side. Black one goes to the negative side. This thing here clips on your number one plug wire. This is number one piston on here, so we're gonna put it on here. These go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this V8. Other brands do it differently, so you got to go to your own model mode. Now we're looking down here on the crank. I should have a yellow mark down there. See that thing right there? There's a little triangle right above that. I'm going to try to line that up by moving the distributor just a hair and keep my coat out of the fan. Oh, I'm really close. Ah, that's pretty close. Right on it. Right on it. So is the fan. <laughs> oh, that looks good. That jumped around a little bit there. Gonna exceed it again. Now this being an automatic, you gotta be able to drop it in gear and not die on you. So let's, let's, let's check these uh, jets again so we actually have enough gas running through it to make it happen. Well, I got these out about one turn right now to get it started. I'm gonna run it in here and see if it, if it's worse or better. Now I'm all the way down to the bottom, so this, this carburetor is pretty tired. Killing bugs over across here now. <laughs> now this car could use a rebuild. They're out about half to three quarters of a turn. Get a good acceleration, I should say. Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> Want me to drop it in gear? Try dropping in gear? Yeah, go ahead. See what you think.
sure vibrating a lot. <laughs> vibrating a lot more than it was before. Yeah. 